reporter Eric Waxler live in Tarpon Springs. Eric, they've already seen flooding there today. Yeah, we had flooding here in Tarpon Springs because of what's called a king tide. The water has now receded, but it's expected to come back in a big way overnight and tomorrow. Here in Pinellas County and then north to Pasco and Hernando, people are getting ready for whatever Hurricane Michael might bring. Scott Haskell loaded up his truck with sandbags, then unloaded them at his wiki home that sits right on the water. We had a high high tide yesterday and this is before the storm even started so I think we're going to get what we don't deserve. Many houses around here are built on pillars but there are still valuables on the bottom level to protect. We got plenty of food, got gas, got whatever we need to go. And that also includes free beer tomorrow. We're going to ride out the storm the best we can do. County leaders in both Hernando and Pasco counties declared a local state of emergency. First responders are on alert and shelters are open. Officials are recommending those who live west of US-19 evacuate. Johnny Lee Archbell is moving a truckload of his stuff to higher ground and his special needs son to a shelter. He says sticking around here is just too dangerous. I wouldn't risk it. It's suicidal. If you don't know how to swim or stay away from electrical stuff and you can't survive in that element, get the heck out of here. Yeah, here in Tarpon Springs, high tide returns at 1.30 this morning and then 2.30 this afternoon. So they are concerned about businesses like Dimitri's on the water here, this restaurant. They've had flooding before and they expect that it might happen again tomorrow. Live in Tarpon Springs, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.